In this video, I'll show you how I use Zotero to write research articles. So you may know Zotero is primarily a bibliographic management program. I have a video that I'll link below on how to use Zotero for bibliographic management. Zotero's rich annotation features are great for writing, too. For example, the literature review section of your research paper should include articles about prior studies, and articles that highlight the relevance of your study. Zotero can help you do that. This video demonstrates using the desktop version of Zotero, I'm on a Mac, um, to write up the literature review sections of your paper. Check it out. So the first thing we want to do is open Zotero. I have Zotero open here on my computer. As I said before, I'm using the Mac version, but this also works on PCs also. In your literature review library, so I have an, a library open called Demo that I use for making videos, and I have opened an article, or actually I've highlighted an article that I want to annotate. So make sure that you have the um, full text PDF version of the article and you'll click on the full text version of the article. And so the article opens in a PDF version on the center in the center and you get a third window on the right hand side and an annotation bar on the left hand side and you can move play around with the sizing of this of the article. And so here is the magic that happens to get you writing. You'll want to start reading your article, and when you read an article, you highlight sections of the article that you are, are profound, that you could use in your research, things that resonate with you, that warrant um, what you're saying that's evidence warranting what you are proposing in your study. And for example, we might consider this sentence, and so we can drag the mouse pointer across, and we have an option of selecting a color to highlight it with. I'll just select the default, which is yellow. And then notice on the left-hand side, a, the highlighted section shows up under annotations. Now the trick here is to, anytime you are highlighting information on a PDF that you're going to use in your research, you need to put the information in your own words. And so under the highlight, there you have an opportunity to make a, a comment. Instead of just making a general comment, you should revise this statement, putting it in your own words. Learning design refers to the systematic and reflective process of planning methods of instruction and the situations in which such methods should be used to facilitate high quality learning. So high quality learning can be facilitated in a systematic way through ref reflective um, process planning processes. Okay, so that's the the gist of it. You'll fix any uh, <laughs> any typographical errors you um, will make. Uh, I can't stand it. I have to change them. Okay, so you'll go through the entire paper, and as you highlight, then the rule is that every time you highlight something, you have to click on it in the left-hand annotation panel and write a, um, summarize it or put it in, um, in my own words, okay? Now, the magic happens, we'll go now, we'll pretend that we've gone all the way through this article, highlighting relevant parts. And now we'll go on the right-hand side, and you can see we're on the Info tag, uh, or the Info panel, which is the publication information about this article. The title, the, um, the kind of publication it is, the abstract is there, and all of that stuff you need to cite the article. 
in the top of that panel there's a, another button and we'll click there and you can see now I have a bunch of annotations on other articles in this um, this library but what I want is this specific article item notes not all of my notes but this note and if I click on the plus and say add an item note from annotations then you can see that I get both the annotation from the left hand side as well as the um, the words that I have used to put it into my own words and so what you'll do is copy and paste your own words and put them into a Word document or a Google document whatever your writing pr program is and now you have begun writing your paper and so this is a great way to move quickly through writing for example chapter one just stating the problem statement or introduction to the topic and for specific areas of your literature review obviously you know when you're doing the research design you may use this a little less and certainly when you are describing your findings and the discussion but this can be magical in helping you work quickly through um, getting some of your paper written you can then you have a place to start with revisions I do hope you found this helpful and I look forward to hearing what you'd like me to show you about Zotero next. Bye now.